Hello, welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to look at a very simple way of doing um, a teleportation for our character. Um, you don't need to have followed any of the previous lessons for this one, and you can be using the third person or the first person character. It doesn't really matter. I'm carrying on with 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 my my uh, current blueprint where I've already set it up so if the characters hit me um, they'll, they'll, they'll damage me. So I'll open my first person character and you'll notice we've got our event graph. We don't quite need that yet. We need to go to the viewport and we need to put in a point for him to teleport to. There's a couple of ways you could do this. I like to add a new component and I'm going to add in Click add the new component and I'm going to add in a collision sphere. It could be a box sphere, it doesn't really matter, we're going to hide it. So I'm going to add in a sphere collision and I'm going to call it um, teleport point. Let's call it teleport point. And you'll see it's put a circle there and that's a, that's a collision mesh. I'm going to move it out. Um, and so basically my character is when I press the letter T, that's the letter I'm just going to pick, you can pick what you like. When I click the letter T, my character will jump from here instantly to this point. The only thing is, is that this, this is a collision mesh, so it will interact with other players or other characters on, on your game. So what you should do is turn off the collision for it. We just want it as a point to jump to. So I've got that clicked. When I scroll down, you'll see I've got collisions here. Collision preset for this is overlap all dynamic. So object, ob objects will, will have an effect on this. So I'm gonna change it to no, no collision. So basically when another character or anything in the game interacts with this, they'll just ignore it. So that, that's great, it'll save it. Now I need to go to my event graph and just put together the elements we need. So I'll right click, get world location. So I, and you'll notice when I get world location, I'll see, you'll see my teleport point there. So I'll click that and it's brought in my teleport point. And so it gets my current location and the target is the teleport point. So where, where am I in the game? my target is a teleport point. Right click, I add in, type in teleport. This is pre-built into Unreal. So click in teleport and you'll see it's all come together there. Drag this across. So when I try to teleport, get my world location, move me to here. So return value is the destin destination location. So that's all done. However, I haven't put a key in to press. So right click and put in, I hit the letter T and it, it gives me the keyboard commands. I click T and when it's pressed, activate the teleport features. Um, if I wanted to, I could, but I can click control to move that, control to move that off. I could put spawn, Sound, oops, spawn, sound at location, and I'll just pick. I'll just pick explosion. So when we when we hit the letter T, play the explosion sound, activate the teleport, get my location, move me to there, and that, and it's pretty much as simple as that. So when I compile this now. Um, I can, I can play the game and don't forget that I've got my my point there. It doesn't, n nothing else will interact with this. So when my characters hit me, r run over this, they won't do anything. So I'll close that down, go to play the game. I'll press T and I jump forward. I jump forward in the sound place. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much the game. Um, and I hope you found that okay uh, and I hope you found that find that quite a useful teleport feature.
Thank you very much for watching the video.